The talk in South Carolina is shifting away from the governor's shocking announcement to questions over what to do with him now. As the governor, he's supposed to be in a position of leadership, and it's supposed to be somebody you can trust, and clearly he's not that person. Wednesday, Republican Mark Sanford dropped a political bombshell at this press conference, confessing he had an affair and spent the past five days out of the country. The bottom line is this. I um, have been unfaithful to my wife. I developed um, a relationship with a, uh, which started as a dear, dear friend from Argentina. Now some of the state's top leaders, including those from his own party, are lashing out. I'm not angry, but I, I'm disappointed. Bauer says his vanishing left the state in a precarious position. What if there's a prison outbreak? We're in hurricane season. What if there's an immediate hurricane? What do we do for evacuation? Who calls the shots if you can't get in touch with them? Now, some of the state legislature say there will be strong calls for Sanford to resign if evidence emerges that he used state money to fund the affair. However, aides to Sanford say that's not the case, and some of the party are urging people not to move too fast. It's premature at this point. We're all receiving the information as it comes in, and that's a choice. He spoke a great deal of forgiveness in the state of South Carolina. is a very understanding state and um, it, will, it will ultimately resolve itself in the way it should. In the meantime, steamy emails between Sanford and the other woman have surfaced in which they called each other dearest and beloved and detailed their affection for each other, all of which leaves people here wondering where this story will go next. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.